Hi guys! First off, I want to start by sincerely thanking each and every one of you who liked and interacted with my previous video. It means a great deal to me, truly. And you know, seeing my content receive such positive feedback fills me with joy and invigorates me to continue making them for you. And as promised, here's the sequel to the first video, where we will cover Throne and Liberty's weapon types and mastery system. Throughout the years, the MMO community has seen a multitude of games come and go. Some were incredible, others were abysmal, and some, even now, continue to be controversial. But there is one thing most of these publications across the decades had in common. Character classes. That's right, creating your own unique hero and class has been a staple and common theme across a plethora of different MMO releases. That is, of course, until the debut of New World back in 2021, where Amazon introduced a brand new style of MMO where instead of players choosing a class, they instead selected a weapon to specialize in. Each of these weapon types offered different abilities and mastery or talent points, all of which were playstyle defining choices, and Seasoft has adapted a similar concept for Throne and Liberty. Although I am a firm believer that classes create a stronger player character bond when it comes to these fantasy adventures, we also have to look at the potential upsides this weapon system offers. For example, in other games, when a player decides they would like the option to try another class, they have to start entirely over, making the process of playing other classes, at least at the level of your current one, extremely difficult. Look, I am aware that there are some games out there that make the choice of playing other classes easier, with things such as express passes and character leveling boosts. But nonetheless, it is still a very difficult thing to achieve. Throne and Liberty's weapon system allows players to try different playstyles by simply changing to their weapon of choice. Although you will be at a significant disadvantage, given that this new weapon you have chosen probably lacks the upgraded abilities and mastery progression your previously equipped one had, we will talk about mastery later, it is still a viable option to continue playing the game at your current progression level, instead of having to make a brand new character. These are the weapons that are currently available in-game. Great swords, longbows, sword and shield, staves, wand and tome, daggers, and lastly, crossbows. There was a leaked spreadsheet that was data mined during the last NA technical test, which featured abilities for a spear weapon type, such as spear thrower and spear block. Although this has not yet been confirmed, it is not too far fetched to imagine NCSoft adding future weapon types to the game similar to New World when they introduce greatswords or other MMOs adding new classes periodically. Adding new weapons attributes a lot of value to the game in my opinion, because it not only expands upon the current available options, but opens up the possibility of different weapon combinations, and attracts new players to the game that could be galvanized by these newly added weapons and their playstyles. I'd like to mention that although I've pointed to New World for several examples when describing Throne and Liberty's weapon system, it is of utmost importance to understand that these two weapon systems are not the same. In New World, for example, you are forced to swap between weapons, given that each weapon only allows three abilities to be slotted at any given time. In Throne and Liberty, you have more than twice that amount. Essentially, allowing you to fundamentally play the game with the primary weapon of your choosing and making weapon swapping a circumstantial occurrence. It's going to be interesting to see the type of weapon combinations players will be experimenting with come the release of this game, and what type of playstyles and roles these combinations will fulfill. Alright, now that we understand weapons and how they work, let's discuss their mastery system. In addition to each weapon providing you with a different toolkit of ability, they also offer a mastery progression system. This trait system allows players to further customize the capabilities of the weapon they have chosen. Let's take a look at longbows, for example. Although this particular weapon type has abilities that certainly pack a punch, like decisive sniping or brutal arrow, it also offers extremely powerful support abilities for your party, like Nature's Blessing, an ability that increases the HP and MP regeneration of your party over time. The mastery system of each weapon is divided into three branches the player can choose to specialize further into. In the case of archers, their mastery selection breaks down to sniping, check, and support. Sniping offers exactly what you would expect from a ranged damage dealer. It has choices such as range crit, damage, as well as attack speed. 
Czech, on the other hand, offers a more balanced style of play. Some of the traits are range on attacks, mana regen and efficiency, as well as cooldown reduction. And lastly, support, which orbits more of a high utility style of gameplay. Some of the traits available to this mastery branch are magic defense and evasion, max HP increase, and buff duration for abilities like Nature's Blessing. Having this system in place allows for greater player urgency and customization options, meaning that it is possible to have players using the same weapon types contribute completely different things. These mastery traits vary from weapon to weapon, and I for one cannot wait to see what type of weapon mastery combinations players are going to come up with. Thank you guys so much for listening and for being part of my content creation journey. As always guys, if you found my content helpful and would like to see more videos like this in the future, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel, it helps me immensely as a creator. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.